Late on Friday in Hong Kong, along with the rain, the political storm intensified with the announcement by government leader Carrie Lam. Legislative elections to be delayed by a year to make the vote safe from COVID, she says. Infections here have doubled in the past month, but they still sit at just over 3,000, low compared to much of the world. And for many in Hong Kong, it's just an excuse. They suspect political motives by the Chinese Communist Party, Lam's backers in Beijing. I knew the government wouldn't let us vote, she says. It's disappointing. After more than a year of pro-democracy protests, Beijing is spooked by the prospect of a big win by opposition candidates, giving them a legislative majority. They've already disrupted government plans in council chambers, and they have big support among voters, who came out en masse in recent primaries. So now, Beijing is using a tough new national security law imposed on Hong Kong a month ago to crack down, disqualifying a dozen popular opposition candidates. However, in order to safeguard the city's future, Hong Kongers will not surrender, and our resistance will continue arresting prominent student leaders in the middle of the night in Hong Kong, issuing warrants for those who have fled to oppose China from abroad. I'm just representing um, a large portion of Hong Kong people who are in support of our autonomy and democracy. And now the election delay. It's been condemned by the U.S., the U.K. and others. But as far as China's concerned, whatever it does in Hong Kong is no longer anyone else's business. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Toronto.